welcome back to my channel, Pleasure Hunter. I continue with my video where I was started the other day. Uh, how I said it every uh, video is like trying to make it 20 minutes or so. So let's see what I bought, how much I can sell it, and how much profit I can make it. Alright guys, let's start. Um, in the charity shop I bought this wooden uh, handmade, hand carved uh, boxes. There was like like a pair together, but in, I bought it separately, obviously. Um, it's like an aluminium. Uh, decoration uh, going around the box and you can see uh, how old is it as the nails is pretty different for from ours what we're using now uh, might is had a stopper or something here but it's mixing missing uh, actually I said it in my description when I was uploaded for eBay, it's a very old box. Beautiful. I'm not pretty sure they used it for cigar or, or there was some. Uh, uh, they used it as a jewelry keeper. I'm, I'm not pretty sure. Boy, I love this design. It looks very old, um, obviously having some oxidation around the box. Um, actually, when, when um, I don't know if I can show it the, something like a saying there, but I'm not pretty sure what, because I can read it. You see guys, like a maker marks or something? Anyways, I bought it for one pound I, and I put it up in my eBay shop, I think so, for 15 pound or so. A uh, beautiful box, nice size. Um, usually I'm doing very well with, with uh, wooden boxes. It's very old. Um, yeah. I put it up for I think so 15 pound and I think in and I hoping I can sell it between 10 and 15 pound I bought it for one pound now the bigger version is um, have more oxidation on the aluminium okay, I'm not sure if you guys can see it perfectly but I have some oxidation oxidation on the top uh, the same design hand carved and made uh, box beautiful but well, is very very old well, I said it I'm not pretty sure if they used it for a uh, cigar or, or anything like that because I I can't see any any uh, marks on it to prove is a cigar box so I actually I just put it up as a as a wooden box because I, I can't say it is a is a cigar box. <coughs> Sorry guys. Beautiful piece. I'm not sure about the wood either, but it's, uh, I love it. I love the design when I saw it. Uh, I I knew it. I have to have it. Uh, that was. Uh, you guys can see it is a bigger version, taller, uh, longer uh, version for the little one. I selling separately. I bought it separately. Paid for this one as one pound as well, and I think it's twenty or twenty five pound in my eBay shop. And I hoping to sell between fifteen and twenty pound because usually I am uploading more uh, higher price, so I giving place for my customers to um, 
giving me an offer. What they thinking is the right offer. So I had these two rocks. Um, I find this bag. What I was touch that that bag is touch me is like a plastic or aluminium. I I can't see it for sure, but it's had like a metallic grayish or silvery color is by for file collection um, have the little uh, strap have the handle oh sorry guys it's a good size of elegant little uh, bag I bought it for one pound and I put it up for 15 pound and I'm hoping to sell it between 10 and 15 pound so uh, uh, absolutely love it usually I buy in bags or I like it um, because if I can sell it and I stop with it at least I can use it that was one pound I find this um, lava glazed um, candle holder so holding like here beautiful lava glaze so it remind me of the chocolate isn't it guys like uh like the chocolate is pointing down on the side now um it's just saying 20 um three beautiful piece um i'm not pretty sure how old this can be what actually is old or not uh I, when I bought it, I was on C. There is some repair on the side in the handle. Well, you guys can see it. I can handle it. It's not staying in my hand or anything. So whoever repaired it is a good repair. Uh, beautiful lava glaze. Mm, I thinking to put it up uh, for auction for starting at four pound and see where it goes the price if it's not broken um not repaired in the handle uh, probably i can get like 15 pound 10 15 pound for this one but because the repair i'm not pretty sure so i'm gonna put it up for a four pound auction starting at four pound and then we will see where it's going um i bought this one a very long time ago um it's like a um wall wall rug if i say it correctly you put it on your wall is uh i'm showing you guys ups and down sorry uh, first time when I saw it, I was thought it's like a, a Christmas candy, but no, it's a Greek vase. If you guys can see the the shape of the vase, and this is, should be a vase if you see the shape. Uh, is a woven uh, war rug. But I put it up on sale for 20 quid, but I in the description I said it some of the wool is started to wear out. So it's in my description. Um, I love it. <coughs> Unfortunately my, my our flat, not my flat, because I live in here with my husband. Uh, our flat is too small so I actually um, can put it on my wall so I sell it and I hoping to sell between 10 and, and 20 pound is on 20 pound in my eBay shop but how you guys can see it some of the brown started to wear off um, 
beautiful piece. Um, we'll see how much I can sell it. Really, I will be seeing between this and that, and then at the end of it, I'm not pretty sure because always my customers choosing the price. I let them because I want. If I don't know exactly for the price for it, let's see. Because when I'm doing my research, some of the items like coming out like 180 pounds for a, a wooden box, I do not want to sell it for that much. I think so that's asking too much. But I'm trying to be realistic with my price. But some people taking the piss. Well, now I find this little wooden box. Um, is hand painted uh, inside the little draw is been having a fleece insert uh, both of them again when I was researching this box is like horrible prices coming out like 80 and, and 70 and 50 and whatsoever for prices uh, beautiful gold and, and uh, using gold color around it and is made in France. See it? Handmade wood, Firenze. Beautiful little box, jewelry box. I think so. I, I'm not pretty sure how much I was put it up on my eBay. Well, I hope you to sell it between 15 and 25 pounds. Um, beautiful piece, very old. You can see it on the design. It's a beautiful piece. I love it. Uh, how I said it, I, I hope selling between 15 and 25 pounds because it's a beautiful box and very old. You guys can see the, the roof. Beautiful. I got this one for three pounds. Now I got in the box, in the original box, this Chinese, Japanese doll with a wooden base absolutely beautiful detailed work holding a flower in the hand be completely honest with you guys that long long uh, uh, fingers is freaking me out I'm not joking I do not like too much dolls. I am not afraid from them or anything, but uh, I don't like dolls. Even when I was child, I was playing with uh, cars and motor bikes and stuff like that. It's a green, having a green uh, coat thing on the door, and it's having nice silver or the Japanese house and flower design. Beautiful. Very fragile. I'm telling you guys, is this lady very fragile. Beautiful piece. Only... I think the only problem is some of the wood on the bottom started to wear off. If you guys can see it. Again, uh, this uh, kind of door is going for 40, 50 pound on eBay. Um, I'm gonna price her on 15 to 20 pound, and I'm hoping to sell it between 10 and 15 pound. <coughs> Sorry guys, absolutely love it, I bought it for one pound in this box, beautiful. 
Um, next, what I was want to show you guys this uh, of the of the new show of new. I'm not sure how you guys uh, see it. It's a size six. Looks very comfortable. Looks very well used. Uh, show. Um, even the sticker is there. Um, I just thought I gonna try how much I can sell shoes, and I saw this one as a comfortable, and I thought if I can sell it, me personally can wear it in the summer because it's comfortable. How I said it, uh, my feet uh, is very uh, strange feet. Uh, doesn't like uh, expensive shoes you can say that uh, like the cheap shoes I have uh, lots of problems with my legs uh, some of them because my fibromyalgia some of them for other uh, other of my sickness so um, I bought it for one pound I think into salad Tampon. That's how much I'm gonna put it up, and I'm thinking between five and ten pound. I, I'm sure I can sell it. If not, how oh, I said it, I can keep it for myself for uh, my mom coming to visit us this month, end of this month, so she can uh, have it. It's her size. Um, the other shoes what I bought. These very high heels, all germs around it, beautiful, colorful gems. And the only reason I bought it, because of this, is have the original uh, price on it, four seventy five. Is uh, Occasion at next, so is a uh, next me uh, sold by next. So only problem with this is looks like the bottom been reared off a little bit, and here missing some gems. But I gonna mention it in my. Uh, description of my ebay so make it sure people knows about some wear and tear uh there was 75 originally now uh i think in selling between 15 and 20 pound beautiful shoes the other paris is no any missing gems around it beautiful piece I was thought I gonna try uh, selling some shoes uh, I bought it for one pound hoping to sell between 15 and 20 pound beautiful piece some people can wear high heels I wish I can before when I was younger I was able to wear it now I can because of my uh, illness uh, I, I just can't so I'm, I'm sorry about that one <laughs> because that is a really nice shoe uh, I can image to wear it but fortunately I can't now that was this is was the, my haul uh, part two I hope you guys liked it if you guys liked it please share it please subscribe to my channel and help me grow I gonna leave my eBay shop link on the comments if you saw anything and you like to buy it you can buy it uh, please stay safe please beautiful uh, stay beautiful and see you guys next time bye